Hi, I'm Maria Granger. I'm a lecturer at Worcester College of Technology. This is Sam, who's going to assist me today, and my model is Dave. Um, we're going to um, produce a technique of colouring Dave's hair um, by what we call shoe shining. Um, through consultation, Dave's decided that he wants um, um, pieces of colour put in his hair, like towards the end of his hair. Um, when he styles his hair, he tends to um, use a lot of product to texturise it and spike it up. So the main aim of the colour is to be around these outside areas of the hair. Um, through the front, we are going to um, use a comb to apply some colour through these pieces around at the front. So when he does um, style his hair, you'll get um, a better effect. Um, first of all, make sure that you gown yourself and your client properly. Use your PPE. And gloves as well, because we're going to do a chemical process. Um, on consultation, we've decided to use a bleach on Dave's hair, and he wants it quite um, light on the end, so we've used 9% um, peroxide. <laughs> to achieve the effect of shoe shining, we're going to apply the bleach to strips of foil. So you paint enough of the bleach on the foil to cover the hair. We obviously don't want big lumps of bleach on the foils because when you apply that to the head it will fall off and we'll end up with blobs of colour all over. So I'm going to start through the crown section of the hair. So I've got my bleach on the foil and then I'm just going to shine it through the hair, picking up parts of there. As you can see through there, just by using that effect, I've basically tipped the ends of the hair. So when this develops, these parts of the hair will be a lot lighter. And then working through again, using a shoe shining effect, as though you were going to shine your shoes. We've added more colour through the hair. Obviously, you need to keep reapplying bleach to the foils, making sure that you don't overload the foils too heavily with bleach. Okay, I've got a good covering now, and now I'm going to come through the side pieces of the hair, and then using the shoe shine technique, work that colour up through. As you can see, you've got a good covering through. Okay, it is better when you're using shoe shine to colour a client's hair to make sure that the client's hair is styled in the direction that they normally do. Otherwise, you'll find if you just randomly put the colour on, when they come to style their hair, you won't get the colour in the places that you wanted it to go. Okay, just using your eye, I would just look through at where you've applied colour to make sure that you can see that it's applied in the precise areas that you need. And I'm going to reapply bleach around this area of the hair, because looking through, we've got a good covering coming through the side pieces, but it goes finer there. So I'm just going to turn the foil at a different angle from how I was, I first applied it, and then I've been able to pick up on those pieces that I've missed before. Okay, and then we're going to go to the top section now. Okay, and using the same technique through. Shine it over the hair. Okay, and once you've applied your shoe shine, again, have a look through the hair, making sure that you're happy with where you've placed the colour. 
And then using another technique, I'm going to apply some strands of colour through the front section of the hair. By using a comb and applying bleach to the ends of it will allow me to get from the root of the hair up to the points of the hair. As we can see from there, it just gives another effect. Which when the hair is styled, will give it a better finished result. And then just move into the other side. Okay. And when you're happy with your application, you develop this according to manufacturer's requirements. We're now going to style it through. And then just to give definition to the style, I'm going to apply a gel. And this will show the texture of the cut through. And as you can see, through using a shoe shine effect, by just touching the tips of the hair, we've been able to give a lightened effect and to add more definition to the style by using the colour. <laughs>